So these press conferences that President Trump has been having, which has been a source of great joy to me and I suspect the vast majority of you, it got even wackier um, uh, uh, yesterday with a report with a Chinese, with a CBS reporter, and then with CNN's Caitlin Collins, who, as we covered earlier on this show, I believe last week or the week before, has been earned the Purple Heart for having uh, stood up to the president and asked him a tough question. So let's watch this. Uh, here's the thing that I think this looks bad for the president. If they're chasing you out of your own house, you do not look like the stronger figure. Ever. Almost ever. Watch this. Go ahead, please. Oh, wait, before we go, oh, sorry, I got I to set this up. Listen to her tone, and we've been seeing uh, Kayleigh McEnany just really slamming them with their gotcha questions, which are disingenuous. They're not trying to have information. They're ca trying to cause drama. They're ca trying to you know, upset people or trying to show off their cleverness. Oh, we found this old tweet of yours. What do you think about it now? Hmm? You thought we forgot about it. Well, I know how to use search. That's because I'm brilliant. Um, and you could see it right here, the aggression uh, having a, when you ask a question aggressively, and I see this all the time on Twitter when I don't engage, you're not really looking for an answer. You're looking to passive aggressively yell at someone and be, how dare you? And watch it right here. It comes very clear. Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. You said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Pass it, pass Why it. Okay, let's just pause this. Why would it matter how well we're doing in general? If President Trump said we're doing great, excellent, tremendous, the next question would be, fairly, how do you know? By what metric? Are you talking out of your ass? Everything's tremendous with you. And then you would say, by comparison with other countries. So this is an objective metric. We don't, like, if you say, 100,000 people died. Is that good? Is that bad? It's certainly not, it's not good in the sense that people die. That's horrible, but we would all prefer 100,000 death to a million or 10 million. On the other hand, if it could have been 50, then that's really bad. So numbers have to be taken into context and a great way to do that, or the only way I think, is by comparison here. There's no absolute uh, situation where it's like no one dies. It's not on the table. Why does it matter that we're doing well? You know, it's like saying unemployment rates are, we have the lowest unemployment rates in the world. Let's suppose someone said that. Why would it matter? Why would low unemployment matter? They are jihadis without testosterone and have no respect for human life other than as a means of furthering their need for cultural hegemony. Go on. Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives okay. and we're still Why does it matter that fewer Americans are dying than Italians if some Americans are still dying? Why does it matter? Why does it matter that less people are dying as long as some people are still dying? Why does it matter that we're getting information about who has it and how many people have it if people are still dying. Why do, I love it how a journalist is asking him why it matters that we're getting information. You're saying we test more than other countries. Why would you want information? That's not our job. Go on. And we're still seeing more cases every day. Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me, ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But We're you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next, President. Next, next, please. But you did, you called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on 
Sorry, I just the young to, lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleagues okay. finish. Okay. Ladies questions? and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate Will it. You thank you very much. Okay. You know, it's funny. So Trump meltdown trends every day on Twitter because they're like waiting for him to lose his mind. Obama had come out against him and they were like, oh, he's going to hit Obama. And he kind of did. Uh, but it's like, yeah, w there's no point in engaging with this uh, uh, bullshit and chicanery.